Hi guys, thank you for clicking on this video. I'm Carlene and welcome to my channel. Here you will find quick and easy tutorials using products that you will find at your local chemist or your local department store. Today's video is a soft, natural look for date night. So let's get started. Starting with a clean face, the first thing I'm going to apply is my Lucas Purple Ointment Lip Balm. Hydrate my lips while I do the rest of my makeup. For the primer, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Base Primer. It's full of light reflective particles, so it's great to make you look like you've got radiant skin, and you can even use it as a highlighter on your cheeks and your brow bones too. For the foundation, I'm actually using a two-in-one product from Revlon in the Color Stay range. So it's got the foundation and the concealer, and I'm in the color Nude. Comes with a sponge, but I like to use my damp beauty blender i just feel like the coverage is a lot nicer than the sponge that it provides and i've got one that's sort of like a funny shape with the around bottom so i like the the larger surface makes it quicker and easier for me to apply my foundation originally i was going to film this look using my brush and i realized after i timed it that the beauty blender was actually quicker as you can see, I'm just pressing it onto the skin. I sort of started where my skin has been the most terrible lately with my blemishes. And then I'm sort of working around my face, just dabbing the residue of the product onto my eyelids, just so that the product isn't um, quite thick there because I don't want it to crease. Next, I'm just using the tip of my beauty blender with the pointy end and I'm just dabbing that into the concealer and then applying that under the eye area and then on the inner corner of the eyelid and just lightly over the eyelid itself, kind of using it like a primer for the eyeshadow, just giving the powder um, just a surface to adhere to to help it last a bit longer during the night. Next on, if you have horrible skin like me and you've got blemishes, I feel like my skin's been terrible lately, um, using your beauty blender, you can just apply the concealer anywhere else that you want a little bit more coverage. To set that look, I'm using the Maybelline Master Fix Powder. It's a baking and brightening loose powder. I'm just tipping a little bit into the lid and I'm just dabbing that onto my eyelids lightly first to set the under eye area. And then I'm just applying a little bit more um, over the rest of my face. And I'm just sort of patting the brush because I sort of didn't want to choke on a cloud of <laughs> loose powder. The next thing I'm going to use um, for contouring for blush and highlighter is the Master Contour Palette by Maybelline. I'm the medium to deep shade and I'm just using my angled brush and I'm just sweeping that aiming for the bottom of my cheekbones, highlighting up to the temple and I'm just using the same sort of pink color. I didn't show that part. I'm sorry, but I'm adding the blush color to the apples of my cheeks, sweeping it up to the temple and I'm just taking the highlighter and applying it to the tops of my cheekbones, my brow bones, down the nose, top lip and chin as well. Next, I'm quickly doing my eyebrows, just tidying them up with a spoolie. And I'm using the Maybelline Master Brow Pro Palette in Deep Brown. And I'm actually, it comes with a little brush, but I'm using my Body Shop brush. I cheated a little bit here because it's bigger and it's just quicker for me to put my eyebrows on. Try the brush that it comes with, but if you want it to be even quicker, get a bigger angled brush. For the eyes, I'm using the Burgundy Bar Palette by Maybelline. It wasn't until I was recording this that I realized that they don't actually name the colors, but you can see I'm just using the lightest color um, with a big fluffy blender brush to make it quicker and easier for me to apply. I'm just sort of windscreen wiping that across my whole eyelid and I'm using the shimmery brown color next to it and I'm just aiming for the crease. So I'm really pushing that brush into the crease and I'm following the natural shape of my eyelid to try and um, add a bit of dimension to my eyelid and I'm just using my fingers to um, wipe any excess away. Now, I'm sorry if also happened, I grabbed my Body Shop Smoky Eye Definer. So if you have one that you have found, um, a cold pencil that you have found from a chemist or a pharmacy, please add it to the comments below. I would love to try it. Um, as you see, I'm sort of just slapping it on on the outer third and I'm blending it out really quick and easy, um, which is why I do love my Body Shop one. So if you have a pharmacy one, please comment and let me know which one you use. I'm literally just slapping this stuff on and blending it out. Um, I was a bit heavy handed on one side and the line was a little bit thicker. So I'm just using my fingertips to drag the product down to my lashes to help sort of blend it along and soften it a little bit. So it wasn't a harsh line on my eyelid. For this look, I'm adding eyeliner to the waterline just to help give it a soft sort of smoky eye look without too much effort because we've only got five minutes to get ready. I'm just going to add my Rimmel Volume Shake Mascara to the top and the, to the bottom lashes as well. 
We're going to use a hack for this nude lip. Now that they're moisturized, we're going to use a foundation from the Beauty Blender and dab it onto the lips to, to dull the color down. And then we're just gonna add a lip gloss over the top. This is the Rimmel Oh My Gloss in the color Per Glossy Cat. And we're just going to add that over the top. And now your makeup's pretty much done. So now you can get ready for date night. You can do your hair, put your accessories in, and that's everything you need to get ready in five minutes for a date night look. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell so you don't miss my next video. Thanks, guys.